In this demo, we'll show how you can easily create, modify, and tune rules and scores associated with insurance fraud. We'll also show how SIU analysts can perform triage and investigations on the highest scoring claims to instantly reduce both false positives and fraud losses. We'll start on the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which provides a visual representation of all the data in the system. This is easily customized for each deployment in just a few hours or days, and can be easily and iteratively changed or expanded with whatever data you want to have available for analysis. Each of the icons represents a data set. So, for example, we have a small fictitious data set of 120,000 claims. We can view the underlying data in a table that enables you to perform many Excel-like operations, and you can also easily clean up data if necessary. We also have about 118,000 policies, 20,000 agents, 200,000 people, keywords, and so forth. You can bring in data from any external source you have access to, such as subscription services, websites, or anything else. The lines between datasets are the cross-references or connections between the datasets. Based on this logical data representation, DataWalk enables you to generate an intelligent scoring mechanism based on expert rules, machine learning, text mining, anomalies, and social network analysis. As an example of how to create a rule for a score, I'll bring in the NICB report set, which is a fictitious data set simulating a file of NICB alerts. It can be loaded either automatically or manually as we're showing here. We generate a connection using the system suggestions. We then select the associated claims, where I see how many claims are associated with NICB alerts, and I can further filter the data to only see those with a loss amount over $10,000. I save this, giving it a name of Large Claims with NICB Alerts, and now I've created this rule. Using rules like this, you can easily generate scores in DataWalk. As an example, we'll create a new score from the claims data set. I can include this new rule I just created, and just to illustrate the concept, I'll give this a weight of 5. And I'll also assign weights to these other rules that I want to include in this score, including machine learning and social network, anomalies, and rules based on claim descriptions. I name the score MTPL score and save it. And the system will then generate a new data set of scores by applying the specified rules and weights against all of the claims data. Typically this takes several minutes and the results are then available on the library panel. There are various ways that you can quickly tune your weights and scores. Let's assume that after a while we want to review performance of this score. We see the percentage of suspicious claims that were identified by expert rules, machine learning, and so forth. We see that the system has identified that the percentage of false positives has recently increased with our expert rules, and the system has flagged this as an area to improve. The rule, individuals with more than one MTPL compensation reduced in the past, needs to be improved. We need only a few clicks to change this rule. So with that, we've shown how you can easily generate, tune, and modify rules and scores in DataWalk. Next, we'll show how you can use these rules and scores. We start here on the DataWalk workspace, which shows available scores, rules, and results that have been generated. Managers can easily assign specific cases to analysts either manually or automatically, and analysts then have easy buttons with their own cases. By clicking on this, we see a list of the scores associated with claims that have been assigned to this analyst for triage. At a glance, we can see which rules were triggered as part of each score, and we want to check the highest score. We go to a summary with key information about this claim. We see the claim number, a photo, and we see that this score was triggered by a combination of expert rules, machine learning, clustering, and so forth. This reflects that DataWalk can generate comprehensive scores using a variety of approaches. We see claim and policy information, claim description, and suspicious keywords. And we can also quickly see which rules were triggered with this claim, such as participant under the age of 26, no police report filed, no witnesses, and so forth. In this case, we've also configured suggested actions corresponding to the rules that were triggered. For example, since one of our participants was under 26, it suggested that the analyst check that person's social media account, and it's also suggested that we check the agent associated with this claim. Next, we see that this claim was included in a suspicious cluster. 
With DataWalk, you can define the characteristics of suspicious clusters and then instantly visualize those so we can take a look at this cluster on a link chart, where we instantly see indications of a fraud ring. If desired, we can add connection labels to better understand the role of each person in this potential ring, and if desired, visualize those on a map. One of the suggestions for this claim was check social media activities. So on a link chart, we add social media data on the fly for one of the individuals engaged in this fraud scheme, and we add his friends. Immediately we see that one of his friends has the same name and surname as one of the other individuals involved in this fraud ring. We can also automatically check how or whether elements may be connected. For example, we select two individuals of interest, and after a few seconds we see that these two individuals are indirectly connected. We could further review any desired data, but with what we've seen so far, we can specify that this claim merits further analysis so we can update status and move on to the next claim.